Hi everybody! So, I think it was about time I talked about this before the year's over. Boruto's getting anime! What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, look. Okay, so let's, let's address this. Hey, what's up guys? Let's get so many here. Let's talk about Boruto's anime adaptation. Or at least OVA. We don't know because apparently it was announced and then it was kind of reneged. It's like, oh, he's getting an anime, but we just don't know if it's like an anime or if it's like just an OVA. I hope to God it's not a series. It better not be a fucking series. But because Naruto makes money and right now they're adapting light novels in the fucking anime right now because they've already finished the main story. At this point, they're doing what they're doing in between this. The anime t currently covers between between like the end of the manga, well, before the final page, the final chap, the final before the final chapter of the manga and the last movie. Like it, it, it hangs like somewhere between there, <laughs> and they're dragging it out as much as they can. I think they're supposed to be doing all the novels, which I guess for certain people who like certain characters, that's cool. Like, the Tamari and Shigemaru stuff is the shit I'm interested in because everything else is going to be fucking, like, whatever ass. Like, the Sasuke stuff I have no interest in whatsoever. But let's talk about Boruto's anime adaptation. So, this, to me, this is about the same tier as Dragon Ball Super. It's that same bunch of bullshit that, okay, your main series is ended, but you left us material to make a new series with, and we like money. And that's, I mean, to me, it's the same tier as Dragon Ball Super. It'll probably start, it's all, I mean, the manga for Boruto has started the same goddamn way. Oh, let's start by retelling the, the fucking arcs in the movies, it, which is exactly what Boruto is doing. It's retelling its movie shit, although I think it's almost done with it, if not, all, if not just finished doing the movie stuff. Because I have been keeping up with Boruto like a fucking dumbass, unlike Dragon Ball Super. And I need to, and I'm probably going to, eventually when we get into canon, we'll see where the canon goes. The canon already doesn't have much to really work with. Because, and this is the thing people got to understand. When it comes to sequel series, sequel series can be good. But the problem with a lot of sequel series is that they do that shit. They almost have like Pokemon sequel game syndrome. Like, it's the crystal, it's like the crystal... The Pokemon Gold and Silver. It's the fucking Emerald of the Ruby and Sapphire. And what's the problem with that? It's essentially the same shit with like a slightly different spin on certain things. As I said, sequels can be good in anime and manga. Dragon Ball Z is not a good example of that. And Boruto, I don't believe, is going to be a good example of that. Because even if based on some of the newer material we've gotten, and based on what Naruto left Boruto as a base, there ain't much to go on with. I mean, think about it. Naruto... When it started, it started on a good footing. And then kind of completely fell off its fucking shit and was like fucking floating in the air by the end of it. Like, oh, you broke my legs in Shippuden. And then for some reason I gained the ability of, of defying gravity and I'm just floating for the rest of Naruto. So I was like, my, my legs are still broken. But the money of air, the money power I have that allows me to float above the ground is what kept me up. Because that's really, realistically, that's how it felt like for Naruto. And then it ended... The money started dropping down and, you're, and you start to fall and you're about to realize that, oh shit, my legs are still broken. Boruto, I need some, I need some more money to keep my levitation up or else I'm going to fucking crash and burn. So let me kind of go through why I feel this way. And obviously, this none of this is set in stone, so you guys can uh, uh, comment in the comment section below and tell me if you think this will be good or not. And I'm going off of the the, the uh, perception that this is going to be an anime adaptation, like a full series and not uh, an OVA. Okay, so first things first, Boruto already doesn't have as many, as many likable traits. Now, Naruto had a lot of likable traits when he started. People liking him now isn't as prevalent, even though I would still say he did okay for himself. But he just... But like... Naruto in the beginning had a lot more that you could le latch on to and understand and agree with. Boruto has like none of that. All right, for one, the only issue he ever he had in the movie was that he and his dad didn't get along, which was pretty much borderline resolved by the end of the fucking movie. All right, that's the first problem. The second problem is he's good at he's good at jutsus. Even 
even when they took the fucking mechanical shit off him and he used his own actual chakra, he's good at fucking jutsus. Okay, cool. Well, that means that the two things Naruto had against him, the fact that he had to work from the ground up to get to where he needed to be, and he had to do it primarily by himself because he had no family and didn't even have, really have any friends for a while to back him up. He had, like, that was an underdog story. Well, Boruto, the only thing they can, the only two things they could possibly do is either A, have, either A, kill his parents. Like, let's be real here. That's what's going to have to happen. You're going to have to kill either Hinata or Naruto to give him some type of emotional weight. Because as of right now, he has none of that. He has no re like, he, he's, or they're going to try to do the struggle of a genius trying to prove himself and get out of his father's shadow. There's only like two stories you can go with. Now killing the parents thing kind of pisses me off because it's like, okay, so we, we've been following these characters, you know, the part one cast, you know, the original Naruto cast since we were fucking kids, like since we were like preteens. So to see us going to the Boruto saga and then you just kill all the parents, it's just like, bruh. That's one of the reasons why most series end with the parent, with the parent, with the kids that we grew up with becoming adults, having families of their own, and then it just kind of fades to white. Everything's cool. You know why? Because we needed it. We went through all that shit with them, only to see them get killed. It's just kind of a, it's just kind of a dick move. Now the whole proving yourself as a genius is no different than like the Neji storyline, except it'd be the, from the main character's perspective. Once again, there's not too many directions you can go, and then we could go, well, we could expand upon the children and parent parental relationships, like they didn't do in the part one, because like, oh, he's like, because the dude's like, it's going to be better than Naruto. That means you would have to do everything right in this series that you didn't do right in Naruto. And the, and the first thing you could do is improve the parental and child relationship that wasn't there, prevalent, that wasn't prevalent with most characters, and even in the ones it was, it was very minor. Well, here's the fucking problem. Your failings of develop, developing these characters fully in, in the original Naruto series bites you in the ass here because you, how are you going to have these new characters bounce off of these old characters who were never fully fleshed out other than their few traits? It's not, you can't even really pass on cool jutsus. I mean, for God's sakes, Boruto's using the Rasengan. Uh, Sarada is using a, a variation on the Chidori. He's just, she's just mixing it with like her, her mom's super strength and shit. Like, they're all using just the same, their own, the same variation. Sai's son looks like he's going to use Sai's jutsus with maybe a slight, very, maybe a slight mix of the mind possession jutsu, which really doesn't flow well with the whole ink beast shit anyway. Like, there weren't, there wasn't that much variation in the fucking main cast jutsus, the main rookies jutsus. So how the fuck are you to come up with cool variations from such a limited mood pool? Now obviously you have the chance to have these characters break away from their parents, which won't mean as much because the parents weren't fully developed. You didn't really under it's like it's a cool thing to see your parent to see those characters kind of develop their nindo and how they want to handle things and their and the way they want to do things and go from that point forward, then to see that their kids found, looked at their ideals, understood their ideals, and respected them, but came up with their own variations, and continued the torch. That's a cool-ass idea. The problem is, is, is like I said, you didn't, you, you didn't develop the parents enough, so the kids, therefore, are already going to have a, a, a lopsided development because of it. So the parental angle you can do, but it'll, be, it'll feel incredibly forced and, and incredibly jarring, which is honestly how some of the characters feel in general. I'll give you an example. Eno went from, like... You know, went from like that bitch who didn't like Sakura to kind of like this weird mom who's like, you have to follow tradition, which is kind of a nice character change for her because, you know, you know, originally, well, no, no, I wouldn't even say that because, you know, didn't really start out hating her, her, her jutsu. It wasn't like, she was like, why do we, I guess she kind of was like that because she didn't want to be bothered with Shigemaru or Choji. But once again, it's barely expanded upon long enough for you to really get the feeling. So that's that problem. Now, based on the two first two pages of the manga that was new material, it's like the age of fucking ninjas are over, and the dude who's fighting him seems to be like a samurai. Now, that means at some point, maybe this is more about 
the, the 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 age of ninjas going away and becoming more peaceful so you don't need ninjas anymore that might be part of it and that'd be a cool spin but how does a character like boruto thrive in that situation why do you need crazy ass jutsus what's the point of even bringing up the ten, the, the the tail beast at that point like it's a cool concept but th that's like a roni kenshin kind of plot and considering naruto and by proxy boruto it's supposed to be like this Dragon Ball Z-esque type show with ninjas. It doesn't really translate well when you got characters who are able to blow up planets and shit. I mean, it, there's not many... You Unfortunately, this is the problem with sequel series. Some sequel series, some series allow themselves open enough to have a sequel to them. I would say something like One Piece could get away with doing like a sequel or even a spinoff just based off of the current events as of right now. You're kind of almost seeing it with certain side stories in One Piece. Naruto didn't do that. Naruto's whole thing was about stopping the war. The other aspects of Naruto you could have showed more of is more of the villages, but it won't even be the same village that we originally were visiting. And there's no, there's half of the reason is there's no reason to go visit them anymore because originally you could have made the argument, well, that's how you introduce us to, introduce us to the, t the tail beast, the ginger key, eh, Jinchuriki, and then we could we could have connected with them. So when they died, it would have felt more painful, and you could have like it, there would have been more of a connection there. Those are like small little things you could have done to improve the original Naruto. None of those things you can do now because you've already resolved the issue. It'd be a different in and if they want to play the Uchiha road, okay. So what's the difference between Sasuke and Naruto, and what's the difference between Boruto and Sarada? The only difference in that situation is that, oh yeah, Sarada would just end up being, it'd just be a, a, like a tragic love story, kind of, sort of, versus like a pseudo-gay friendship. There's not like, this is the problem, you don't make a sequel series and put, because that's putting yourself in a mental box, because now you have to confide by the rules of Naruto. You can't go out of the rules of Naruto because that's where you've confined yourself. Now obviously, Boxes can lead to realms of creativity with the most simple premises. Kishimoto was never known for doing that. That's the reason why he took the concept of ninjas and made it as ridiculous as you could. Where you had ninjas that not only had the ability to do simple shit like control shadows, you had ninjas who had the ability to fucking control the fucking moon. And because you not only made each of the damn... Uh, the power scaling in Naruto got so fucking ridiculous, you can't even really go back and fix that. You know what would have been cool? If 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 Boruto had the Byakugan instead of... Like, if his abilities were more based around the Byakugan with maybe slight references to Naruto, that would have been fucking cool. That's not what you fucking did, though. You went right into the fucking, well, he has to be exactly like Naruto, but have a better life, but have a dumber gimmick for his personality issue. And he's not really a likable character. He kind of just exists. So it's like, oh, here's an anime series around him. And you're just kind of like, I don't think anyone cared. I think literally we just wanted to know who he got with and who and if he had kids. And what his kids look like. I don't give a fuck about Boruto's personality or Himiwari's or Chocho's or fucking any of their kids. Shikadai. Because half of them are clones of their parents with like very minor differences. Uh, whereas... And then, like, some of them are just random as fuck, like Chocho. It's gonna... I, I, I almost can bet this will be, like, another Dragon Ball Super situation where it will start off... It's already started off the same damn way with the retelling of the last movie that could lead into a plot. And then the next few arcs will just be either retellings or re-variations of previous plots. Like the stupid Black, tr black Goku bullshit they did in Super. It's the same dumb shit. Because fucking, they couldn't let it go. It's like, it makes money, so we gotta keep doing some shit. Like, Dragon Ball Z is about to go into another fucking tournament arc. But ooh, look, there's Majin Buu and Android 17. Characters who haven't been relevant since the Cell Saga and the Buu Saga, respectively. And haven't done any fucking thing. It's like, it's like fucking, it's like Naruto bringing back, who, who could you even bring back that that would mean? Oh, it's like, oh, Madara is back. Fuck so, and, and and to me at that point you're not really creating new material. You're relying on old material, kind of like how the Black Goku arc relied on a, a new variation of Goku and on future Trunks again. 
We're good. It's great. I, this is gonna be some shit, dude. Personally, I believe this is just gonna be some shit. But uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, website, Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. This has been Schizomac. Life's a game. Play to win. And I will catch you guys later. Ha! 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 Ha!